So, now you can see that the fine turf has dried. Now, the next step is we're going to cover it with some static grass. I use a few different shades of static grass. I so the static grass I tend to use is from Nosh. I use some 12 millimeter ones, six millimeters, and I think some are even a little bit shorter, but I'm not too sure how short they are as I do not have the packet for them no more. I tend to mix up a blend between these four. I just put a few extra long 12 millimeter grass in to make it more wild effect. So let's get to it. So now we just take a, just a small screwdriver like this one here and we take the box and we just move that out of the way and we just make it to small pieces. And while I'm blending here I'll look after stuff. Like sure I'm being here. Maybe we need a little more brown grass. Take that, that. So this is like the color I want. Maybe a little bit more blending. Like this is the color I want to have. So that's it. So I put some just some normal PVA glue on, and then I also have some which is being diluted with water, which is approximately fifty percent water and fifty percent glue. I do these over containers so that the excess pieces that spill off can be reused later. I try to keep to the same containers from where I put the glue over as I will not reuse that stuff as the glue will run in and the grass will dry in it. The next step in our scenery hill, and we're gonna cover this section here. So, So now we're going to use this, this is like easy, you just 
take this little thing there and you stick it to the glue. So, welcome back to our new, to our next step of our scenery. Now we're gonna spread some glue on it, and we're gonna put some grass on. So, let's get to it. So, first of all, you do it in sections, like maybe you just do it here, small sections. So now you need to use this. It's pretty simple. You take the end, this, and you just stick it to some glue and it falls. Now I have finished it, finally, it looks like this. So, now we, now we are gonna do the next part, now we are gonna do the next step. Now we are doing the next piece. This is we're gonna use first we're gonna use PVA glue. Looks like this. So we can put it like you can put it ev anywhere. So I just put a little here. And maybe a little here, and maybe a little dot there. So maybe you can make like that. So it doesn't matter where I put it, you can put it anyway. So I show you, then you take a little underbush. Then you have a little bushes. Then you need a little bar on the bush. And then you need more dark green bushes. You don't need all the colors, but it looks more like outside that. So. So. 
as I said, you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. So maybe you take a little dot of this, take this here, and maybe put it a little there, and you can put a little of this, and put it down there like that. So, and we have all these four colors, so I'm going to show you the rest when I finish it. So now we have finished here, yeah, this, so now it's just a little bit more stuff to do. So now first we need a little water, it's just that empty bottle, it's just no water in it, spray a little. Spray it on the bushes so they're gonna be they're gonna stick. We need a little bit more glue with water. This is important to make it make this stick. Just need a little drops, a few drops, and then we're gonna. Then we almost finished. We're just gonna put the trees on them. Lots of pieces are falling off here. Just so you don't fill them on the tracks. It's good. And just to repeat, it's glue with water and just normal water. And we have PVA glue and this here. So, and the bush, bushes, light green. And the bush light green and bush dark green. So now we're just gonna do the next step, and that's putting the trees a little everywhere. So So now the hills are dried. The next step is we're gonna place some trees on. Now I have made these trees myself. 
just simply bending wire together and then and then I gypsed it and then I painted it brown and then I also put the foliage on top now these trees I have reused from my previous layout and where they sat so some of them they've actually gotten damaged and the gyps has fallen off so they need a touch up so I'm not going to use them once until I have repaired them.